Greetings YouTube, this is Dolph no, Hard On Watch here to show you the new Star Trek deck Pendulum Domination Now before I get started, I do not own anything that you're about to see All rights go to Konami and everybody associated with the Yu-Gi-Oh! project And as you can see, on the front there's monsters that we haven't seen and if anybody watched the show this is Declan Akaba Aaliyah Institute son of Aaliyah Akaba who is in the future dimension leading a fusion army but you haven't gotten that part yet that's one thing to look forward to on the back it says crush your opposition new DD monsters and as you can see there's the monsters spells and traps and in the extract there's gonna be DD Dragon Bang King Beowulf Triple D Curse King Sigrid Siegfried and Triple D King Wave King Caesar here you can see the, some of the cards. There's the game mat, which you can see of it. And it says the Pendulum Domination Structure Deck gives you full command of Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz monsters. The Dark Contract cards will allow you to put the pieces of the puzzle in place by moving new DD monsters to your hand, field, or even your Pendulum Zones. But be careful. Prolong reliance on the dark contracts has an adverse effect on your life point so be sure to have a goal in mind before you sign the dotted line and here it says what you expect out of it three common cards two ultra rare cards three super rare cards one bigger's guide one double side deluxe game mat slash dueling guide and tips to execute the perfect strategy to learn how to use pendulums Monsters, just scan the code to watch the how a how to video. All right, let's go and get started. I got this at Walmart for ten bucks. Alright, and with every deck, well with this one, I got, you see the little bar there? This is the scan bar which can get the store clerks to stop you and check your bag. So, I ask that you all be careful. So, rule book, Pendulum Domination Structure Deck, Beginner's Guide. Which has all new information. Know your monsters. How to play them. Um, What's the special summon? Battling with your monsters. Spells and trap cards. Frequently asked questions. And of course, it goes over everything from normal summon sets to pendulum summons. Clean like these. Synchros, virtuals, and as I said before, fusion. So, if you get into the game for the first time, I suggest Star Decks to get your feet wet, so to speak. Move some of the stuff out of the way here. Alright, here you can see clearly the name of the deck, what comes in the deck. There's Renji again. And then there's the Servant Kepler. The contracts, getting out your big monsters. And 
and many more powerful cards in in this deck and it shows you the cards and if you want to further this if you want to get this deck go ahead but I will also recommend that you get the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kaiba 10s in Yu-Gi-Oh! 10 you will get a Triple D Flame King Genghis which was also one of the cards used in Declan's Deck Dorn series and Kaiba Mega 10 will give you a Triple D Gus King Alexander and or then you got the packs to show you how you can further enhance this deck with monsters okay here's the game at as you can see there's fields pen your graveyard pendulum and deck zones of course you got your monster spell track card zones laying all the way over to the other side where you'll have your field spell pendulum zone and extra zone as you can see it's very awesome now let's get to the deck first off you can see that they're triple D chaos king apocalypse pretty bad He's a level 7 monster and a pendulum monster. So, as long as you've got pendulum cards between you know, 1 and 8, you can pendulum summon him over and over again. <laughs> so, there's Triple D and Chaos King Apocalypse again. Then you got the Triple D Dragon Bane King Beowulf. Pretty cool. Triple D. Orcus, which is a scale one, a scale three, sorry. Triple D, or double D Luma, which is a tuner. Triple D, Cursed King Siegfried. Another cool car. You got DD Servant Newton, scale ten. DD Servant Kermicris. Triple D. Doom King Armageddon, Double D Cerberus, Scale 6, Double D Lilith, the Night Howl, no, you're not seeing things, that is basically him, just the head. <laughs> then we have DD Serge Galilee, DD Serge Kepler, which is a level 1 and a level 10, Triple D Oblivion King. Abyss Ragnarok is also a pendulum. Triple D Supreme King Kaiser. DD Proud Ogre. Double D Proud Javadair. Dark Arm Dragon. Dark Graffa. Armageddon Knight. Trance Archfiend. Curry Bandit. Stingering the Street Patrol. Sturgeon Security. Dark Contract with Yami Makai. Dark Contract with the Gate. Dark Contract with Sw the Swamp King. Forbidden Dark Contract with Swamp King. Foolish Barrel. One for One. Lower Darkness. Dark Eruption. Emergent Provisions. That's definitely a good card to have. Did he re reroll? Did he recruits? Did he human. Triple D human resources. Dark Contract with Witch. Dark Contract with errors, contract laundering, which stops all the uh, dark contracts. Sinister Yashiru, Escape from Dark Dimension, and Hope of Escape, and Final Card, Triple D Wave King Caesar, which is pretty awesome. And that's the deck. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And as I said, if you want to further this deck, I suggest to boost up 
your extra deck with more powerful monsters. I suggest the Yu-Gi-Oh and Kaiba, the Yu-Gi-Oh and Kaiba Tens for those two monsters. And hope you all have a great day.